Hey guys, this is Scott, and today what we're going to do is take a look at the min-max replenishment in Advanced Warehouse. So on day-to-day -day operations, you're picking your items out of your pick locations, and you need to be able to replenish these locations. So what the min-max replenishment allows you to do is set minimums and maximums up on, on your picking locations and replenish those from your bulk locations. So let's take a look at the setup. In today's example, what we're going to do, we're going to take a look at and replenish only the fixed locations. You are able to do the, the non-fixed locations, um, you, you, uh, So, but today's example, we're only going to look at the fixed locations. The items we're going to look at are the L006, the L0100, and the L0101, and these are in pick 1, pick 2, and pick 5, okay? So what we're going to do next is we're going to take a look at the location directive. So if we go under warehouse management, we're going to go to setup, and then we're going to look at the location directives. And then the work order type is going to be replenishment. And then if we look at this min max replenish 64, where, warehouse 64 is the warehouse I'm going to be using today. And on the min max replenishment, the only location directive you need is the pick directive. You don't do not need a put directive on the uh, on the min max. So this is pretty straightforward as far as the setup here. I've got uh, locate work type is pick. The site and warehouse warehouse is sixty four. Um, on my lines, I'm doing one to nine hundred ninety nine thousand, and then I'm only going to pick from bulk locations. So if I look at the edit query here, my location profile ID is going to be bulk. So I only want to move things from bulk to my picking locations. So next thing let's take a look at is the work template. So we're going to go down to warehouse management, setup, work, and then work templates. So we go there and again the work order type is going to be replenishment. And I have one set up here for um, min max replenishment warehouse 64 very simple setup I've got a just a simple pick and put line this obviously can get more complicated as your as the needs arise you can you know pick these all and go to a staging location and then put them away something like that uh, but in, in this example we're just going to use a very simple pick and put next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the replenishment template itself so we're going to go under warehouse management and setup then there's a replenishment tab, and then we're going to go to the replenishment templates. In here, I've got one set up for my Warehouse 64. I've given it a, a, a template name of MinMax 64, description of MinMax Replenish 64, and the replenishment type is going to be minimum and maximum. I have checked on here, allow wave demand to use unreserved quantities. Uh, this works along with the wave demand. If you want, want uh, that to be able to allocate from these min-max uh, replenishments, we'll make cover that in a, in a separate video. Um, and then down here in the lines is the, is the kind of the meat of the setup. So the I've given it a sequence number of one. I could have as many of these in here as I want. Uh, the description is just going to be the L items, and I'll show you in a minute how I'm, how I'm uh, narrowing that down just to the L items. The replenishment unit is going to be each. Now here's where I specify the work template that we created. So it's min max 64. I've specified the work template here. And for the L items, I've got a min minimum quantity of 50 and a maximum quantity of 100. Now this unit is telling it what uh, unit of measure this, this min and max is in. So this is 50 eaches and 100 eaches, but you know, I could put cases or pallets, whatever needed to be there. And the increment, I'm just rounding up. And then I have these two boxes checked. I'm going to replenish empty fixed locations, and I only want to replenish the fixed locations. And the product query mode, so I can do products or variants. So in this case, I'm using products, and it's telling me to you, you know, it's t uh, instructing it to use this select products query. Now, if I look at the select products query here, this is where I'm limiting it down to the items that I that I want to uh, replenish. So in this one, I'm just doing it where item numbers are start with an L. So again, you've got wide variety of ways you could set this up. But for in this instance, I just want to um, replenish my items that uh, begin with an L. Okay. So that's the, the total setup for this. Now let's go ahead and run that. So this could be set up as a batch or can just be run on demand. So where we're going to run that from is, is warehouse management. We're going to go into the replenishment and then the replenishments here. So in my records include section here, I can click on the filter. And in this one, I'm just 
looking where the min, the replenishment template is min max 64. Again, you, you've got a wide variety of ways you can set this up, but for this example, I'm just going to do the uh, min max 64 template. And then we can just uh, run this one. So we're going to hit OK to run it. Okay, so then that runs. And let's take a look at the work that was created for this. So if I go into my uh, warehouse management and then work and then all work, we can take a look at the work that was created. So I got actually three replenishments that were created for this, one for each of the items. So if I click on the first one here, I've got um, an instruct work record here to pick the L0006 from bulk and move it to pick five, and it's going to move 99 of them there. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. And here we have the uh, L0100. It's going to move from bulk two to pick two, and this one's for 100. So that previous item had one in the... Uh, in the location, so that's why I only moved 99. But in this case, this one, this particular one only, it didn't have any in the pick location, so it's gonna, gonna ask you to move 100, okay? So that's just a, an overview of the min-max replenishment process. I hope you find this video useful, and thanks for watching.